we have yet another foundation review. Really excited about this one. I mean, I've been excited about all the foundation reviews, but this one, I knew I had to get my hands on. This is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. For reference, I do have normal to dry skin, leaning more dry currently in the winter. My skin is also very sensitive and pretty acne prone. <laughs> um, I was excited about this because I feel like Kosas really is an up and coming brand. I'm seeing them growing in more and more popularity. They come out with some really great products. So this is one that I definitely wanted to give a try. I personally ordered this off of the Kosas website. Shipping wasn't the fastest, but I ordered from there because I don't know if you know this, but you can buy these sheets of samples, they range from about $5 to $10. I love keeping things like these in my makeup kit. So I think this one was $10, which honestly is kind of expensive, but it's really good for makeup artists or to find your perfect shade. This is the Revealer Concealer. You get all of these shades. This one was definitely cheaper. I think this one was like $5. I've never tried their tinted face oil. I've always wanted to. I thought I could give this a try. And this one is pretty neat too. Their Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlight Duos. I got a couple of samples here as well to play around with. So I'm excited about these. They're a little bit pricier probably than I would want them to be, but I think this is really neat not to have to buy the full product to be able to test things out. So that's why I ordered from the Kosas website, but they also are selling this on Sephora. So let's go into the details of this guy. It looks like there are 36 shades here. I personally picked up the shade Light Medium Neutral 200. They describe this as a light medium with subtle pink undertones. I definitely would describe my skin tone as a light medium with a neutral undertone. So this sounded like it would fit me the best. This foundation is going to be $42, which is fair for a high-end price range. That's kind of what I would expect. Now the claims on this, it does have SPF 25 in here, a medium coverage, a natural dreamy finish. It's supposed to visibly smooth texture and minimize pores, and it's supposed to have really great skincare infused ingredients like hyaluronic acid is one that a lot of you might know, niacinamide, peptide squalane, etc, etc. I'm not a big ingredient buff, so I can't tell you whether or not that is good or bad. It also is clean and silicone free. You know, with all the goods of a clean foundation pretty much. So here is what the box is going to look like. It looks really, really cute. I mean, it's a typical kind of Kosas sunshiny packaging. This is going to have one fluid ounce of products, which is very standard for foundations. Here is the foundation. It's the same packaging as the concealer. This is actually like glass though. Oh my gosh, this is glass though, whereas the concealer is plastic, but it has the same cap. It feels really nice. I like it. I do like if you go on the website, whatever color you pick out, it will also tell you the best concealer color to pair it with and the best powder. So for example, this one right here, light medium neutral 200, it recommends revealer concealer in 4.5. I have 3.5. <laughs> and then the setting powder in feathery, which I do have that shade. But definitely the website is a great asset for that. Okay, let's uh, zoom into my face. <laughs> so I already have my sunscreen and moisturizer on. Get a little closer so you can see what I am fully working with. I broke out on my chin. I think I've been wearing my makeup too long in the day. For primer, I'm just gonna do something that I'm comfortable with. This is the Gucci Silk Primer. I love, love, love this. It really just kind of smooths out the base prior to foundation. I want to just use something that I am familiar with with this foundation. I'm mostly applying it to the T-zone here. All right, let's get to trying this foundation out. Here's what the pump looks like. Let's take a look at the consistency. Here's one pump. I feel like you get a lot of product for one pump and it's not too thin, but it also isn't too thick. It's not like watery or anything. Let's see, this looks like a pretty good match for me. Maybe like a half shade too deep, but nothing too bad. So I'm going to spread my foundation out as I normally would. And we are gonna try a sponge with this side just because a sponge is 90% of the time my preferred method of application. I'm just using a fresh beauty blender that I pulled out yesterday. So if you are a skin tone match with me, the one that I got is a tad dark, but it's winter, so I'm honestly not that mad about it. I and mean, with concealer and whatnot, it would look fine. You just gotta make sure you blend it down the chin. Okay, so this gives a really gorgeous glowy finish before we set with powder and everything. Definitely a medium coverage. You can absolutely see my freckles through and everything, but it does a good job of evening out the redness on the skin. I would say it's a little bit lighter than medium. It's 
on the high end of light coverage, if that makes sense. Let's see if it builds. And please keep in mind, I also did use a sponge, so we'll try a brush on the other side, and that I think will actually give a true medium coverage. We're gonna see how it layers over my acne. Here and right here. I'm gonna use my sponge to kind of dab that. The second coat didn't seem to do too much, and you can see it's shiny right here, so you can see my pores, so I wouldn't say it's minimizing them, but nothing a little powder can fix. It's not anything I'm mad about. Let me use another pump of the foundation. Again, I'm just gonna use my fingers to spread the foundation, and I am using a Refer 31 brush to blend her in. This foundation definitely is unscented, by the way, so if you're sensitive to fragrance, you'll be good with this one. It just smells like the ingredients used to make a foundation. I would say I did a pretty thick layer of foundation, honestly, because I used two pumps on my face. You definitely, for more of like a light coverage, light to medium coverage, one pump would do you good. But your girl got stuff to cover, so. I think probably what I would get away with is using one pump for the face and then like a half a pump for the areas that need a little extra coverage. But here is what it's looking like. It looks really healthy on my skin, I would say. Huh, it looks a little textured right here. Let me just blend that out. Honestly, I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy the finish of this foundation. I think I preferred actually the brush application. It just looks a little bit more perfected on that side, but definitely use a sponge if you like a lighter, more dewy kind of coverage. I'm just gonna use my sponge to push in everything because I, I think even if you use a brush finishing with a sponge always just like mm, makes everything look so much more skin like. Here's what it looks like completely unset. I think it looks nice. It looks a tad dry on my nose but I will say I woke up with a dry nose uh, so <laughs> that is why my nose is dry but it's not really emphasizing anything unflattering. I like it. I think it looks pretty healthy. Okay, so at this point, I am going to finish the rest of my face makeup and I will be back. I'm not gonna show you me doing my eyes because I'm doing my eyes for a different video, but the base products, you'll see what I'm working with and what's going on top. Okay, so here is the makeup that I'm wearing today. I went very simple, very neutral. Uh, and take a look at the foundation. I think it looks really nice, very healthy. It has a nice glow to it, even through the products that I used. I don't think it minimizes or blurs pores or anything like that. I can certainly see that on my face, but I'm really not mad because my skin just looks healthy and super natural. So, so far, so good. I got the foundation on at about 11 o'clock. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Before I do that, I'm gonna show you what I look like on my iPhone in front of my window. But here's the last look on my studio lighting, but so far, I mean, I like it. I think it's nice and healthy and good for every day. And here is what we are looking like in front of my window. Natural lighting. It looks good, right? I'm not mad at it. It's not the most perfecting, but it's just healthy and good for every day and natural. So we'll see how this wears. And by the way, if you're curious about anything else I'm wearing, linked in the description box, you guys know the drill. I am going to touch base with you in a few hours. I have a video to film, video to edit, and yeah. Oh, something I did wanna add that you guys were concerned about is if the foundations ran yellow. I can't speak for the line, but I feel like the color that I chose did not look very yellow on me. Their concealers do run quite yellow, but the shade that I got, I feel like really was kind of neutral, so yeah. Wanted to hop in for a quick wear time update. So it's about 2.30, been wearing the foundation for about three and a half hours and it's holding on okay. It's definitely not gonna be a long wearing foundation, I can already tell. So I did just eat lunch and I walked on my treadmill earlier. So I did warm my body up a little bit, but it's breaking up around my chin. I don't think it liked that I ate. 
So yeah, definitely don't wear this for a long occasion. And then I would also say, I think this will transfer on a mask. I can tell when I touch my face, I got a little bit on my finger. So if it's getting on my finger, it will definitely get on a mask. So if you're wearing a mask all day, probably not the foundation I'd recommend for you. But it still looks pretty good, pretty healthy, very natural. Wear time is going to be the weakness here, I think. But I will continue to keep you guys updated and see you in a few hours. I apologize, I look a hot mess. I just started packing for moving <laughs> in my makeup room. I haven't started packing my makeup room. We got started on it, so I'm like sweaty now. But let's take a look at the makeup. It is seven o'clock. So I've been wearing my makeup now for eight hours and I went outside for a walk. I walked in my treadmill for an hour. I've been sweating packing. So I've been doing stuff and honestly the foundation I am very very happy with. Mm, it's starting to get a little tired around my mouth. It pretty much completely removed from my chin but all in all it doesn't look too dry. It doesn't look too cakey or heavy or oily. I think that this is a solid solid everyday foundation you know it's not going to outlast like a matte foundation or one of my favorite long wear foundations but in terms of everyday just looking like nice and fresh I enjoy this foundation again be aware of masks because this is not a transfer proof product it doesn't really set down too much so if you're going out for like a lunch or something this is really really beautiful so I give this one a thumbs up I like it Think of all the new foundations that have launched recently. I will say, this does not beat my NARS foundation. I love my NARS foundation. It's competitive with the Dior Glow Foundation. I think I might like the Dior a little bit better, but that just might be brand name because it's Dior and it should be better. So I'd have to do a side by side of that. But I definitely like this for sure. I'm going to continue wearing this. This will be in my next Speed Updates video to let you know my final thoughts. Either that or favorites if it turns out good. Because <laughs> I'm liking it so far. So there we have it, you guys. That is my first impressions wear test on the new Kosas foundation. What are your thoughts? Did you pick it up? Do you like it? Let me know down below. And your skin type as well. That's super important. If you tried this foundation, tell me your skin type and how it wore for you. And that's... That's it. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.